What if a war didn't begin with explosions, but with silence? What if radars went dark, missiles stopped tracking, and an entire air defense network collapsed before the first bomb even hit? Today we're breaking down how US F-35 stealth jets could shut down Iran's air defenses in just minutes, and why this scenario terrifies military planners across the Middle East. Stay with us. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video focuses on a hypothetical, but highly discussed military scenario that continues to shape global defense planning and regional strategy. We are analyzing how US F-35 stealth fighter jets could potentially shut down Iran's air defense network in a very short time window. This is not a claim of a real attack, but a strategic breakdown based on publicly available military capabilities, expert assessments, and known defense doctrines. The F-35 is designed not just as a fighter jet, but as a flying sensor platform capable of detecting, sharing, and exploiting enemy weaknesses. Iran, on the other hand, operates a layered air defense system made up of radar stations, surface-to-air missiles, and command centers spread across its territory. The key question is whether stealth electronic warfare and coordinated strikes could overwhelm such a network quickly. Understanding this scenario helps explain why air, defense systems, stealth aircraft, and electronic warfare are central to modern conflicts. It also explains why nations invest billions into early warning radars and counter stealth technologies. In this video, we will move step by step examining detection, suppression, coordination, and response timelines. By the end, you will clearly understand why military analysts debate minutes, not hours, when discussing modern air defense collapses. The foundation of Iran's air defense network is detection, and detection begins with radar. Iran uses a mix of domestically produced and imported radar systems designed to spot incoming aircraft at various ranges and altitudes. These include long-range surveillance radars, medium-range tracking radars, and fire control radars linked to missile batteries. However, radar effectiveness depends heavily on the target's radar cross-section. The F-35 was engineered from the ground up to minimize this signature, making it extremely difficult to detect at long distances. Its shape materials and internal weapons bays reduce radar reflections, especially from frontal angles. In a real scenario, this would compress Iran's reaction time dramatically. Instead of detecting an aircraft hundreds of kilometers away, operators might see unclear or delayed contacts much closer to protected assets. That delay matters. Air defense systems rely on layered warning to cue missiles, activate tracking radars, and alert command centers. When detection is later uncertain, decisions become rushed and error prone. This is where stealth changes the equation. It doesn't make aircraft invisible, but it forces defenders to operate under pressure with incomplete data. Against a stealth platform like the F-35, even advanced radar networks can struggle to build a reliable air picture fast enough to respond effectively. Beyond stealth shaping, one of the most powerful tools carried by the F-35 is its electronic warfare capability. Modern air defense is not defeated only by bombs, but by information disruption. The F-35 can detect enemy radar emissions, analyze them in real time, and share that data with other aircraft and command units. This allows coordinated suppression of enemy air defenses, often referred to as aid. Electronic warfare can include jamming radar frequencies, confusing tracking systems, or forcing operators to shut down radars to avoid targeting. When radars go dark, missile batteries become blind. Iran's air defense units are networked, meaning they rely on communication links between sensors and shooters. These links are vulnerable to electronic attack. If communications are disrupted, individual units may operate in isolation drastically reducing effectiveness. In a compressed timeline, minutes matter. If multiple radars experience interference simultaneously, commanders face uncertainty about whether contacts are real, false, or already inside defended airspace. This uncertainty slows response and increases the risk of misallocation of missiles. The 35's advantage lies in combining stealth with electronic warfare, allowing it to operate inside contested airspace while degrading the very systems meant to stop it. This combination is why analysts consider early minutes decisive in any modern air defense engagement. Another critical factor is coordination. Iran's air defense network is layered but geographically vast, covering cities, military bases, and strategic infrastructure. Coordinating a response requires centralized command and control systems that collect data, assign targets, and authorize missile launches. These systems are vulnerable nodes. The F-35 is designed to locate such nodes by detecting communication patterns and radar emissions. In a hypothetical scenario, Stealth aircraft would prioritize blinding the network rather than destroying every missile launcher. Disabling command centers or data fusion hubs can cause cascading failure. When orders cannot flow, local operators may hesitate or act independently, reducing overall effectiveness. Time pressure compounds this problem. If multiple stealth aircraft penetrate from different directions, defenders must decide where the main threat lies. Wrong decisions waste precious missiles and reveal positions. 
Additionally, modern warfare emphasizes joint operations. F-35s would not act alone, but as part of a broader system including satellites, cyber capabilities, and other aircraft. This integration allows rapid targeting updates and flexible mission changes. Iran's challenge would be responding to a fast-moving, multi-domain threat with systems designed for more traditional engagements. Coordination breakdowns, even brief ones, could create gaps large enough for follow-on actions, highlighting why analysts focus on early disruption rather than prolonged battles. Missile engagement timelines are another reason analysts discuss minutes rather than hours. Surface-to-air missile systems require several steps to engage a target detection, identification, tracking, target assignment, and launch authorization. Each step consumes time against conventional aircraft. These steps are manageable. Against stealth platforms, delays multiply. If detection occurs late, tracking may be unstable. If tracking is unstable, fire control radars may struggle to lock on. Without a solid lock, missile launch probability drops significantly. Iran operates a mix of missile systems with varying capabilities, including older platforms and more modern designs. Integrating these systems into a coherent response under pressure is challenging. Furthermore, missile inventories are finite. Firing at uncertain targets risks depleting defenses quickly. In a hypothetical F-35 scenario, defenders might launch missiles reactively, only to lose tracking mid-flight. This wastes resources and reveals battery locations. Once locations are known, they become vulnerable to suppression. The psychological effect on operators is also important. Conflicting radar data, electronic interference, and unclear command guidance increase stress and error rates. Modern air combat is as much about cognitive overload as physical destruction. This is why analysts argue that an air defense network can be functionally neutralized without being physically destroyed simply by overwhelming its decision-making cycle early. Cyber and information warfare add another layer to this scenario. Modern air defenses rely heavily on software, data links, and digital coordination. While details remain classified, military doctrine increasingly integrates cyber effects with kinetic operations. In a hypothetical engagement, cyber actions could target communication networks, data integrity, or system availability. Even temporary disruptions can have outsized effects during the opening minutes of a conflict. If operators cannot trust their displays or communications, they may delay engagement or shut systems down entirely. Iran has invested in cyber capabilities, but defending every node simultaneously is extremely difficult. The F-35's role in such an environment would be as a sensor and coordinator, feeding information into a broader operational picture. This highlights a key shift in warfare. Aircraft are no longer isolated platforms, but nodes in a network system. Disabling an opponent's network can be more effective than destroying individual assets. When analysts say air defenses could be shut down in minutes, they are often referring to this functional collapse rather than total physical destruction. Systems may still exist on paper, but without coordination, trust, and reliable data, they cannot perform their intended role. This distinction is crucial for understanding modern military assessments. Geography also plays an important role. Iran's size and terrain present both advantages and challenges for air defense. Mountains can block radar coverage, creating natural gaps. Urban density complicates placement of large radar installations. To compensate, defenses rely on overlapping coverage and mobile units. However, mobility can be a weakness if units are forced to relocate frequently under threat. Stealth aircraft exploit gaps rather than confront the strongest points. In a hypothetical F-35 operation, routes would be chosen to minimize exposure while maximizing surprise. Multiple entry points strain defenders' ability to predict intent. Additionally, refueling, basing, and allied support extend operational reach. This is why regional dynamics matter. Air, defense planning does not occur in isolation. Analysts consider not only platforms, but also basing access, logistics, and intelligence support. Iran's defenses are designed primarily to deter and delay, raising costs for any attacker. Whether they could be overwhelmed quickly depends on assumptions about scale, coordination, and objectives. This uncertainty fuels debate and drives continued investment on all sides. Understanding these geographic and strategic factors helps explain why no air defense system is considered impenetrable, only resilient to varying degrees. Public discussions often oversimplify air defense collapse as instant destruction. In reality, it is a process. Systems degrade step by step as sensors lose accuracy, communications falter, and operators struggle to maintain situational awareness. The F-35's advantage lies in accelerating this degradation. By compressing timelines, it forces defenders into reactive mode. Even a few minutes of confusion can allow follow-on operations to proceed with reduced risk. This does not mean defenses are useless. It means modern conflict rewards speed, integration, and adaptability. Iran continues to adapt by dispersing assets, hardening facilities, and developing counter-stealth approaches. These efforts complicate planning and reduce certainty for any attacker. This constant adaptation is why analysts frame scenarios in terms of probabilities rather than guarantees. 
When we say air defenses could be shut down in minutes, we are discussing plausible outcomes under specific conditions, not inevitable results. This nuance is often lost in headlines, but is central to serious analysis. Appreciating this complexity helps viewers move beyond sensationalism toward a more informed understanding of modern warfare dynamics. It is also important to consider escalation and restraint. Military capabilities exist within political context. Even if systems could be neutralized quickly, decisions to act involve strategic calculations, alliances, and consequences. Air defense analysis helps policymakers understand risks, deterrence, stability, and crisis management. By demonstrating potential vulnerabilities, stealth platforms influence negotiations and signaling without ever firing a shot. This is part of their strategic value. Iran's air defense investments similarly signal resolve and raise uncertainty for adversaries. The interaction between offense and defense shapes regional balance. Neither side operates in a vacuum. Analysts use scenarios like this to test assumptions, identify gaps, and guide future development. For audiences, understanding these dynamics provides insight into why military spending and technological competition continue despite enormous costs. The debate is not about who wins instantly, but about how quickly advantage shifts and at what price. This broader context is essential for interpreting claims about minutes versus hours. It reminds us that technology changes timelines, but human decisions ultimately shape outcomes. In conclusion, the idea that US F-35s could shut down Iran's air defense network in minutes is rooted in analysis of stealth electronic warfare, coordination, and information dominance. It does not claim certainty or predict real events. Instead, it highlights how modern warfare prioritizes speed and disruption over attrition. Air defenses today are judged not only by how many missiles they fire, but by how well they maintain awareness under pressure. Stealth platforms challenge that awareness by compressing decision cycles. Iran's defenses are layered adaptive and continuously evolving, but no system is immune to disruption. This balance between offense and defense drives ongoing innovation and debate. Understanding these concepts helps viewers critically assess headlines and appreciate the complexity behind military assessments. If you found this breakdown informative and balanced, make sure to support the channel. Like this video, subscribe for deep military analysis, and comment below with your thoughts on modern air defense and stealth warfare.